morning everyone welcome to the 10 day yoga for peace care sessions recommended by a gynecologist we, this is the sixth day of the session and we are in practice with yogini yogika uh, sorry with uh, divya suresh now i hand over the session to divya hello namaste good morning uh, i hope you're having a good sunday morning and welcome for the sixth day of the pcos workshop that we're doing so uh, yesterday we looked at a few asanas for um, different all these days we've seen few asanas for different different uh, causes or effects of pcos Today, we will be looking at doing some asanas, learning some asanas to bring the whole nervous system into balance. And we're trying to bring balance in the energy systems of the body, be it right and left side or being the heavier and the lighter energy and so on. Okay. So what we will do is a lot of standing asanas. So in case you want any support of the wall, make sure you place your mat close to a wall so you do not lose your balance very often and so that you are able to stay in the asana and experience the pose completely okay perfect so let's start off okay so since i spoke about balancing between the sides remember we also practiced one pranayama yesterday called nadi shodhana pranayama okay so today what we'll do is we will start with nadi shodhana we will also end with Nadi Shodhana. Okay. So first we will start here. Make yourself comfortable. Roll the shoulders back and sit tall. I hope you remember the technique. If not, take a look for one second. We'll use the index finger. Okay. We will start alternate no nostril breathing. So first cover the right nostril with the finger. Inhale through the left nostril. Cover the left nostril. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Cover the right. Exhale through the left. Continue one more round with me. Inhale through the left. Cover the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Cover the right. Exhale through the left. Continue at your own pace. Eyes closed. Go as slow as you can. Try to breathe out or exhale longer than you inhale. Go as slow and deep as you can. Very mindful. Just take a few more seconds. One last round. Inhale through the left. Cover the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. And slowly release your hand. Observe your breath. 
for a few seconds. Now slowly, gently blink and open your eyes. Beautiful. Let's start off. So, like we all remember, we first learned in the first two days of the workshop, we learned Surya Namaskara flow, right? And when we are talking about balance in the body, there is no other better practice to bring the body under balance than Surya Namaskara, right? So, we will start with a few rounds of Surya Namaskara and then move forward with the other asanas okay let's do it together um on top of the mat give one foot distance from the edge feet together lift and roll your shoulders back back straight go slow we'll do it together first round so you understand what we're doing Let's begin. Namaskara. Bring your palms in front of the chest. Now, Dve, raise your hands up and back bend slowly. Now, Padahasta. Slowly exhale. Release your hands down. Take your right leg back. Drop your knee down. Press your left armpit on the left thigh. The front. Bring the whole body in one single line. Drop your knee. Drop your chest. Drop your forehead. Slowly slide. Lift your chest up. Slowly lift your hip or the buttocks up. Bring the right leg front. We took the right leg back, so we'll bring the right leg front now. Right armpit, pressing the right thigh. Slowly bring the left leg front. Inhale, come up all the way, back bend. Slowly release your hand. Same thing on the left side. A come, palms together. Dve, lift your hands up, back bend. Treni, release your hands down on the mat. Chatwari, take your left leg back this time. Press your right armpit on the right thigh. Pancha, take your right leg back, body in a straight line. Shut, drop your knees, drop your chest, drop your forehead down. Sapta, slide front and lift your chest up. Ashta, lift your hip up. Nava, now we took the left leg back first. So we bring the same left leg front. Dasha, bring your right leg front. Eka Dasha, raise your hands up and back bend. Dva Dasha. Back to Samasthiti. Three more rounds. Let's do it together. Ekam Namaskara. Dve, hands up. Urdvahasta. Treni, release your hands. Padahasta. Chatvari, right leg back. Pancha, left leg back. Shut, drop your knee, 
chest and forehead. Sit down. Lift your chest up. Ashta. Lift your hip up. Nava. Again, bring the right leg front. Dasha. Left leg front. Eka dasha. Come up all the way back bend. Vadasha. Samasthiti. Left side. Ekam. Hands together. Dve. Hands up back bend. Treni. Palms down. Chatwari. Left leg back. Pancham. Right leg back. Shut. Knee, chest and forehead down. Sup the chest up. Ashta, hip up. Nava, right leg front. Dasha. Ekadasha, come up all the way. Dwadasha. Namastiti. Ekam namaskar. Dve urdvahasta. Treni padahasta. Chatwari right leg back. Eka pada prasarna. Pancha left leg back. Dve pada prasarna. Shut. Knee, chest and forehead down. Sashtanga Namaskara. Sapta. Bhujangasana chest up. Ashta. Hip up. Bhudarasana. Nava. Right leg front. Drop your knee down. Dasha. Left leg front. Ekadasha, come all the way up. Dvadasha, Namastiti. Left side. Ekam Namaskara. Dve Urdvahasta. Reni Padahasta. Chatwari, left leg back. Pancha, Dvipada Prasarna. Shut. Sashtanga Namaskar. Sapta. Bhujangasana. Ashta. Bhudarasana. Nava. Left leg eka pada prasarna. Tasha. Pada hasta. Eka dasha. Urdu hasta. Dwadasha. Namastiti. One last round, right and left. Use your breath this time. Ekam, inhale and exhale. Dve, inhale, back bend. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, left leg back. Hold your breath. Drop down. Inhale. Chest up. Exhale. Hip up. Inhale. Right leg front. Exhale. Left leg front. Inhale. Hands up. Back bend. Exhale, Samastiti. Last on the left side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, right leg back. Hold your breath. Drop down. 
Inhale, chest up. Exhale, hip up. Inhale, left leg front again. Exhale, right leg front. Inhale, come up. Exhale, Namaste. Just take a second. Keep your legs apart. Hands behind the back. Close your eyes and observe your breath. Your heart is beating faster. You're breathing rapidly. Let's wait for the body. Slowly feel normal again. Few gentle blinks, open your eyes. If you want, you can quickly take a sip of water. Okay. Let's begin after that. Stick together, your big toes touching each other. Hands on the waist. Now we're doing a lot of balancing asanas. Okay. So remember one thing. The number of thoughts on your mind will reduce when the number of breaths you're taking reduces. So what happens if you're breathing fast, if you're moving fast, the number of thoughts on your mind is also more and you're thinking about too many things, which is leading to stress, anxiety and so on. So these balancing asanas will develop mindfulness. And you will start becoming more aware of your body, which will trigger healing of the body from inside, right? So we will try to hold every balancing asana for as long as possible, taking support if necessary, okay? Let's do it together, hands on the waist. Press your feet into the mat. Slowly bring your right knee to the chest. Stay here and breathe. Fix your drishti. Keep looking at one point in front of you. Just focus on your breath. Keep pressing the left foot down. If you're comfortable, take your hands out sideways. If not, hands on the waist. Breathe. One. Two. Three. Four. My hands down first, then the leg. Remember, if you're taking wall support, hand one hand on the wall. Slowly, left knee to the chest. Slowly, slowly, try to take out your hand away from the wall and breathe. Your job is to just focus on your breathing. Keep looking at one point. Five. Four. If you're comfortable, stretch your hands out. Three. Two. And one. Hands down first. And then the leg. Now, Brikshasana, 
hands on the waist again slowly press this leg down the left leg down slowly right heel up balance here first if you are comfortable hands in front of the chest if you are still comfortable hands up stay wherever you are comfortable the number of thoughts on your mind is already reducing because if you continuously th keep thinking about something you cannot balance you're already doing beautifully just breathe and hold one two three four Five. Perfect. Release your hands first. Gracefully release your right leg. Very nice. On the left side, slowly bring the left leg up. Keep pressing your right leg down. Once you find your balance, hands here. if not take it up more with a smile focus on your breath and hold five take it easy four Three, two, almost done, and one. Hands down. Release the leg down. Very nice. Now, spread your legs open. Make sure the feet are parallel. hands out stay it looks like a very simple asana basic asana but when you hold it for a long time you will notice the difference majority of us will have one dominant side your right hand is stronger your left leg is stronger there is always imbalance in the body this particular asana will try to bring balance there and start boosting the whole overall nervous system okay press your legs down spread your fingers open uttita hasta padasana breathe very simple asanas but they have major benefits make sure there is equal body weight on the right leg and the left leg slowly all the muscles in your upper arm your upper back shoulder will react to your breath it will become numb it will become heavy observe all of these feelings don't drop your hand one you're doing great don't drop two three almost done four and five very nice hands back on the waist relax 
turn your right leg to the right side turn the body back to the center hands out slowly bend your right knee exhale and drop your right hand on the mat see my left knee is straight my right knee is bent and i raise my hand up into parshva konasana side angle pose let's hold and breathe you might think how is this a balancing pose you will know when you are holding here for a long time keep breathing one bend your right knee left knee straight two three don't release four and five slowly come up release the right leg turn the left leg out turn the body in the front hands out exhale to the left now bend your left knee right knee straight chest open right hand up breathe you can look front or look down one keep pushing the hip down two three four and five inhale and up exhale release your hand okay all good let's move to the next balancing asana ardha chandrasana so what we will do here turn your right leg to the right side okay from here drop your right hand on the mat left hand on the waist now slowly with control with control take your left leg off the mat see if this is difficult for you to balance what can you do both the hands down on the mat so you can keep both the hands down on the mat raise your left leg up once you're comfortable here slowly gently 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 take your hand on the waist if you are still comfortable here hand raised up okay if not both hands down or one hand here no problem let's go let's stay here and breathe ardha chandrasana right hand down right leg down breathe keep looking at one point on the mat see how you have very few thoughts on your mind your body is focusing on doing something else you feel calmer notice five four three two and release the left leg come back up release your hand let's do the same thing on the left side turn your left leg to the left side drop both the hands down first take out your right leg once you're comfortable here only then right hand up on the waist 
Just keep breathing. If you want, take wall support. Just breathe. Focus on breathing. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly come back up. Release your hands. Ah, take a second here. Close your eyes. Observe the whole body. Watch how you're feeling internally. The aim of this practice is to slow ourselves down, observe ourselves, and try to calm down the mind and balance the body. Okay, slowly bring your legs back together. Let's sit down on the mat. Take a second. Hug yourself as tight as you can. Slowly lean back, legs off the mat. Back straight. You can see this from the front. Just look at one point and breathe. Slowly look to the right side. Keep balancing. Very simple asanas. But the purpose and the effect of the asana is very big. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Look to the left side. Five. Keep balancing. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly center. Release the leg. Take one second. Let's repeat. Same thing again. Balancing. Hug yourself to the knee. Take out your legs. Cross your ankle like this. One more advanced step. Slowly raise your hands up. So last na variation. Only balance on your buttocks. Look at one point. Don't move. Every time you breathe out or exhale, the body shivers a little. Your body reacts to it. Observe that. One, with the smile, two, three, almost done, four, and five. Hug yourself, release the leg. Once again, take a second. We're almost done.
continuation of this once again hug bend back legs up this is the last variation navasana the boat pose the most strongest balancing pose slowly stretch your leg out stretch your hands out back straight breathe again observe your body when you are exhaling one two three keep trying to balance we're almost done don't drop four and five slowly release let go of the hand relax okay. one more main and the last aspect of balancing is to do a particular asana both on the right and the left side equally okay trying to bring balance between both the sides of the body and regulating both the sides of the brain we're just kick starting the system okay how do we do this we'll do it with the help of twisting asanas okay. first both the legs out back straight bend your right leg okay not very close like this keep the right leg front leg next to the left knee right hand back inhale left hand up twist look back see me from the side bend the right leg right hand back same leg bend same hand back left armpit outside the right leg look back vakrasana breathe one two three twist more and more four five slowly center the leaves the right leg bend the left leg left leg bend left hand back right hand up twist and look back five four three two and one slowly back to center release your legs take a second one last balancing pose here we've done this before slowly inhale chest up look back from the right side try to touch your forehead down bhu namanasana so when i'm trying to touch see my body from the front my hip does not lift like this no don't do this hip down just twist try to touch down and breathe feel a good twist in your spine together turn through the right side try to touch down and breathe one two three 
try to touch four, five. Inhale, come up to the other side. Five. Just keep twisting. Four. Three. Try to touch. Two. And one. Inhale up. Exhale. Release the whole body. And lie down on the mat. Just make yourself comfortable. We're done with all the asanas. Release your hands and release all the tension from your body. Eyes closed and relaxed. Just observe. Close observation of the body. Experience the blood flow throughout the body. Observe the tip of your nose or the nostrils. And observe how there is cold air going inside the nose. And warm air is coming outside the nose. Cold air in. Hot or warm air out. Just experience a state of calmness and silence in your own mind. Just allow your body to cool for a few more seconds. Take another two to three deep breaths. Now inhale deeply, exhale completely. Just 
slowly move your feet, your fingers. Move your head from side to side. Slowly legs together. Left hand on the stomach. Right hand up. Turn to the right side. Stay. Now slowly come to a seated position. Your eyes remain closed. Now, take your awareness to the tip of your nose. If you want, keep one finger under the nostril and observe. There is one nose, one side of the nose is working better than the other side. You're breathing more to one nostril than the other. Observe that. Once you identify the nostril, release your hand. Once again, let's begin with Nadi Shodhana Pranayama. Index finger. Cover your right nostril. Inhale through the left. Cover the left. Exhale. Right. Inhale. Right. Cover the right. Left exhale. Left inhale. Cover the left exhale. Right. Right in here. Cover right. Left exhale. Left in here. Cover left. Right exhale. Right in here. Cover right, left exhale. Continue five to seven more times. Keep going. Very slow. Deep breathing. When you have to end the practice, exhale through the left and then stop after five rounds. Oh. 
once you drop your hand, observe the change in your breathing, the lightness in your chest and the breath. Now once again, bring your finger under the nostril. Observe your breath again. Now if your practice was nice, that imbalance is rectified. Both the nostrils are working together equally. You are able to take smooth and deep breaths. Equally through the right and the left side of the nose. Now, to promote this calmness, once again, our favorite Brahmari Pranayama. Cover the ear with your index. You inhale through the nose. Exhale, produce makara or humming bee sound. Let's do it together today. Inhale. Mm. In here. Mm. In here. Mm. In here. Mm. Last round. Inhale. Mm. Release your hand. Feel the vibrations in the body. Rub your palms. And softly place your hands on your eyes. With a few gentle blinks and a big smile, open your eyes, look into your palms. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a good practice. So like I always say, make note of these asanas that's going to help you in your own practice. And so these are the few practices you can do to bring your body in balance, to improve the healing from inside by bringing balance in your system, okay? And remember, Shavasana, at the end, when we lie down, 
that is the most important aspect of balancing because like i mentioned all of us have one dominant side one side stronger than the other and we need to bring balance into the system this way right so for this even after your practice one side of your twisting may be nicer than the other side right so one side of the body is worked more than the other so to bring back this balance in the system we do shavasana to relax all the muscles 100% and bring it back to its natural state do not ever skip shavasana after your practice because that is what boosts your energy levels back up right and we will be doing more of the shavasana a little more advance of this which is going to help you overcome the stress or anxiety or insomnia or whatever it is that you are facing because of uh, pcos we will learn how we can overcome it in the next week's session that is saturday and sunday so stick with me join us again and i'll see you in the next week have a beautiful productive week thank you so much if you have any questions you can ask the questions now okay there are no questions all good then Karima, do you want to take over? Thank you, Divya, for conducting the session, and thank you, everyone, for joining the session today. Let's meet next week. Thank you, and have a great Sunday. Thank you.